All right, so I'm gonna do something highly unadvisable. Super unadvisable, I can't believe he's doing it. <laughs> it says, Stupid. there's a sign that says don't do this, but I'm gonna try and vlog this. Yesterday was a blast. We went to the Lagoon Amusement Park near us in Utah, and uh, man, it was a great time. That roller coaster that you saw, that's like their brand new roller coaster, and it goes on like more than a 90 degree drop. It was terrifying. That sign said that it'll eat cell phones. We rode it twice, actually. The first time we rode it, I went like this just to see if I could dare hold on to a cell phone. And the second time, I snuck a cell phone on, and I reached it out, and I just death gripped that thing on the front of the roller coaster, and it was, uh, it was so worth it. That video was awesome. Put it on Facebook, everyone loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Now I just set up to do the new main video for the week, which is a review on that Black Arch holster box set. I'm, I'm stoked on it, to be honest. Like, I'm wearing it right now. I've worn it every day since I got it. Uh, one, just because I wanted to test it out, but two, because it's comfortable, man. I really, really do like it. I just spent the last like half hour setting up an Instagram post. Check this thing out. So. Uh, that's the Instagram post that I just spent a half an hour getting. Uh, if you don't follow Greenlight Shooting on Instagram, definitely do. It's at GL Shooting. Definitely go follow that if you have an Instagram and let's get into this main video. How's that for some ingenuity? Last time I got a really good response and it seemed like you guys were really into the whole question and answers thing. You guys left a lot of great questions in the comments. So I thought I'd go through a couple this week. So uh, I'm just gonna go through the comments and read off a couple. First up, Zekanificent510 uh, says, what firearm are you planning on purchasing next? Uh, to be honest, it'd probably be something pretty long range. Like I'm thinking maybe like a 308, like a bolt action or something like that. Or maybe a nicely tuned like AR-10, even an AR-15. Next question comes from Brian. My dream weapon is the SIG Tac Ops 2269 millimeter. I recently purchased it this year. What is your dream gun or on your wish list? First up, congrats to you, Brian, for picking up your dream gun. That's a huge, like a, a really good feeling. My dream gun is probably just like a really, really high-end 1911, like a Les Bear, a Nighthawk or something, like something that's just handmade, 
custom just everything, just completely made to fit my hand and to work with my shooting style. I'm a huge fan of 1911s, I've always been a big 1911 fan. So I think just to have one of those super high-end ones would be a blast. Another option down that same kind of line would just be like a really dope, I think they call them 2011s, like the 1911s that are just crazy pimped out for like USPSA, like the open style with you know sights on top, ported barrels, like just everything you could imagine, huge flared magwells and just things that like, you shoot this 45 and the gun does nothing, like it just stays dead set where you're aiming it. And uh, I think that'd be a blast to compete with one of those. Flowers 637 says, hi from New Zealand, great vid, I always enjoy your content. I'm not reading that because it's a question, I'm reading that because it's really cool that you live in New Zealand and you're enjoying my content. So big shout out to you, thanks for the support. D Bellic says, for a gun channel, I'm pretty inexperienced because I don't own any rifles and I own a Remington R1. Really? <laughs> if you're curious what I said back to him, check out that other video and read my response. Uh, John Davis asks, if you were to go somewhere to train for the weekend, do you have something like a mobile repair station for your gun? Uh, if so, would you keep all that stuff in? Uh, I, I wish I could answer that better as I'm at the park right now, obviously. Um, I have like a backpack that I keep everything in and it's just kind of com compartmentalized by like, you know, what I need at the range and stuff like that. On a future video, I'll make sure to go through that bag in more detail, but thanks for the question. Thanks for all the ideas on subscriptions. I really do watch more gun channels than I, I made it out to last time time like Hickok 45, Demo Ranch, stuff like that. I do watch those channels. Um, I'm just not subscribed to a lot of them. Probably the most common question I got asked last time is why don't I own an AR-15? And there's a couple of reasons for it. But one thing is, you know, a, a good quality AR, it's a lot of money. And uh, with my experience level, I don't really want to jump into an entry level AR and kind of build it up. I'd want to start at a higher end AR. Uh, so that's one reason is the money. The second reason is I noticed that when I buy guns, they kind of sit around my house a lot. They don't get used really all that often. And so it's hard to spend, you know, 2000 plus dollars and leave a rifle just hanging out in your house when you're not able to make it out to, especially to a long range range. It's kind of lame to have a boss AR and only be able to go to a 25 yard indoor range. But that's not a big deal. You know, I can go to the range more often. Probably the biggest reason why I don't own an AR is because I work with so many AR companies, I work with so many ranges and stuff like that, that, you know, I can just go shoot there really pretty much anytime I want, you know, like tactical armament. If I want to borrow a, a rifle for the weekend, I can just call them up and go pick up a couple rifles. And I work with a couple ranges, so, you know, if there's like a time when I need to get an AR fix, I can go to that range and, and just borrow one of their ARs for the day or something. It's, it's really not a huge deal. So uh, that's really the biggest reason is because I have access to so many different ARs, at least on a range purpose. Plus, I'm still holding out for that time when an AR comes company has me do a review on a gun and lets me keep an AR so that's the long-term plan but for now I'm okay just borrowing ranges and borrowing companies and stuff like that there was a lot more great questions thank you guys so much for participating and leaving those in the comments if we have enough interest and questions we're definitely gonna do this again so if you do have more questions please leave them down in the comments below I'm having a good time kind of interacting with you guys like this you know being able to answer direct questions I think it's a really cool way to disconnect with you guys more little ankle update by the way I hurt my ankle Friday today is Monday and it's getting a lot better I don't think I broke it Thank <laughs> you.